All right, welcome to Cars, Shops, and Collections, and we are back at Garage Mahal, and Shane is the owner mm -hmm. of Garage Mahal. It's good to see you again, buddy. Nice to see you again. We're back here for a particular reason, because uh, we featured you and your entire collection on episode number 30. Right. But there is one standout car, and that is your 1969 all-original 427 Corvette. Correct. Now, here's the story with Cars, Shops, and Collections. We post the episode on YouTube, we get a great response, and then I'll take a clip of a car uh, from every episode and put it on TikTok and Instagram Reels. This Stingray that I put on TikTok and Instagram has over 500,000 views. Half a million views just on wow. this car and over 500 comments and questions. <laughs> questions that I don't have the answers to. So I told everybody on TikTok and Instagram that we'd come back, we'd, we'd hook up with Shane again, and I'll hit you up, hit, hit you up with some of the questions, right? Okay, and let's hope I can answer them. I literally printed out all of the questions that were asked on Instagram and TikTok, so we got all of them. So first off, a lot of people claiming to recognize the car. You got it from Pennsylvania. Where in Pennsylvania did you get the car? I'm uh, not for sure exact city, but it was I found it on eBay. It was at an auto dealership uh -huh. that they had just got it in, and I've been searching, searching, and it popped up. So that's where I got it. I could look name, but I don't remember. But the you city. See you're looking for this thing. Yes. This is just something on eBay that you found. You don't have like someone searching for you. You're looking no. on eBay because it's something you want to find. I'm looking every website, just trying to find a '69 427. You know, 430 horse is my dream, but uh -huh. I found the 390 horse. And we'll get into that here in a second, too. And okay. the other thing, too, it's all original. Yeah. The number one question that people are asking and pointing out, saying that the paint is not original. Paint, is it original or has it been touched up at all? It's it's original paint mm -hmm. with, I, we did put a clear on it okay. to get more of the luster back. Okay. We didn't want to touch and do a complete repaint, but it is has a clear on it. And I think too, with, with the GoPro too, get some tight shots of the paint too, too. Because we literally did, on the episode, we did 30 seconds on this car. Right. And if you come in and zoom in closer, you can see that the paint, this is the real paint on the car. What color is the paint? Um, I, I'd have to look it up. I think it was called Hunter Green or something Hunter like Green. that. It's a beautiful color. Yeah. It is a gorgeous color. Uh, the motor, can we see under the hood? Sure. How'd you get here? They, they uh, hauler brought it out? Uh, yeah, car hauler brought it out. Here it is. 390 horsepower, right? Yep. So many people wanted to see under the hook. So this, the 390, I had to look it up. There's 10,531 of these produced. And you have one of them sitting in your garage right now. Yes. That's a cool thing. Yeah. But this is not your dream one, though? What is the one you would like to have? The fourth, uh, 430 horse. And that's, there's 2,720 of those. Produced. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, so Out we, of the 700,000 Corvettes built that year. Yeah, that's just a small amount too, which is crazy. <laughs> uh, come around this side too, because people are pointing out, they want to say there's no uh, side view, passenger side view here. Right, that was an option. This, okay. this one did not have that. And the same too with the side pipes. Uh, Correct. A lot of people pointing out with the side pipes, there's no side pipes, because that, that was an option. For yeah. This car back in 1969. Yep. So there was a option list you could actually check off. Uh -huh. And I can show you in there, because I got like a manual, mm -hmm. and you can see what each you know cost was. So you had the paperwork on the car? Yeah, well, I, it's a, it's a kind of a brochure that put together a booklet uh -huh. of tell you anything and everything you want to know about this car. The louvers here, people are asking about this down here, uh, pointing out that some of it has, there's a trim package that comes with this. Yours does not have it. Do you have the trim package to go with it? I do have the trim package. It was not put back on or wasn't on. I have the pieces, but like I said, I haven't put them in. It's so, it, I love it too. I love people that watch the YouTube show that you're watching on YouTube right now, and also the TikTok comments, because people pick up on things, and some of the questions are so unique. Uh, and one of the questions too is about when it comes to putting in the gas, a couple <laughs> people asked about, do you spill gas when you're putting it in here? What's the trick to gassing up this Corvette? Well, typically what I do, so you can see it's way down in there. Uh -huh. So I hold the handle with the nozzle up, you come over to it and you kind of rotate it down and then fill. And the same thing, you kind of come up and you shake it and then kind of rotate it back up and out. But I'm sure over the years, it's spillage on the- on Oh the... yeah, for sure. And then um, some of them have, was an optional luggage rack that would come yes. with? Yes, yep. The rear window, does that come down? Yes. It does come down. Yeah. T-tops on it? T-tops. Have you taken the T-tops off? I have not. <laughs> Tires too. People asking about the tires on the car. You have the red line trim on the tires. Yes, Goodyear red lines. Because there, it, there's a, the white line was also optional. Right. And also the Firestone lettering. Yep. The battery is the battery behind the seat. Yes, it is. So you get the battery behind the yes. seat, 
Is the jack behind the seat as well? Yes. And you, you have the jack? Yep. Get in there and see that. That is cool. There's a whole luggage tray. That's where the battery stores. And then the jack is on this side. I have to go on the other side. Excuse me. It's the original jack, too? I believe so, yes. The interior of this car, too, is in great condition. Pickle if they can, that's a car. And that's where the T-tops will slide back there, too? Yeah, there's the original jack in there. I'll get a shot of the stickers, too. The fact that the original stickers are still in the vehicle, with the jack instructions right there, that's cool to have. And when I opened this up on, on the original episode, the door buzzer was going off. Yes. And I got real excited about the door buzzer going off. I, and people are like, you're standing in front of an all original 1969 Corvette, and the guy is geeking out over a door buzzer. Because a lot of people don't disconnect that thing. Right, so right, for you right. to still have a working one, that's a cool thing to have. It's most definitely cool. Is there a, a, an alarm system on it? No. No. It didn't come with one, right? No. Someone asked, is there a factory alarm? I didn't think they had factory alarms back in 1969. This guy, you come around this side, Lance, I'll go on the other side. Oh wait, actually too, the wiper plate. People asking about the wiper plate. This is really cool. So the wiper blades are underneath this, right? Underneath yes. the panel here? Yeah, and supposedly, I've never turned them on, but when you turn it on, this will raise and the blades will come up. This comes up and the blades yeah. come up. Yep. Which, it doesn't rain in Las Vegas. No. So you don't need them. No. And secondly, if it is raining, you're not gonna be driving this car. I'm not driving rain. this car. Do you drive it? People want to know too. Do you drive it or does it sit? What's your, what's it, your, what do you do with it? It probably sits more than I drive. When uh -huh. I, I haven't drove it a lot. When I first got it, I took it around the block two or three times and I really haven't had it out much more than that. Yeah. When you find it on, on eBay and they tell you that it's all original, do you right. do your research before making this purchase? I do as much as I can without flying there. Yeah. So they had sent me some photos. I said, well, I want photos of this. I want photos of that. But underneath the rear end, you know, there's certain brackets, the shapes of the brackets that tells you it's a big block. Uh, everything matched up to what it should have been. Good, yeah. Yeah. Someone, so. someone pointed out when it comes to the window here, with a, with, a, with a seal here, Yes. that if there's screws inside, the, the, you, it's been touched. If it's all original, we're gonna find staples. Have Correct. you ever investigated inside here? Are we gonna see staples? Are we gonna see screws? I'd hate to look inside and see screws, but if we look inside, we should see staples. Have you looked before? I have not, but okay. let's, let's look. Let's look together, all right? I uh, I guarantee, wanna make a bet? No. <laughs> <laughs> to all the haters online, we're gonna bet right now. <laughs> we're looking for, there they are. Staple. You got that, Lance? No. Yeah. Got it. No. Then this is nitpicking. This is there. It is right there. Yeah. There they are. I'm kind of honored and flattered too. I mean, you know, it, it kind of, one that you say it's all original. People are like it can't be, and then people point that out. Right. We right. look for the staples, and we got the staples inside right. there. Yeah. Let's uh, let's get let's get inside and kind of break it down. So there's a lot of clones that people do. Yeah. They take a small block car and they make it into a big block car. The gauges too, so you have uh, you kind of your fiber optics, fiber optics down here, which is really cool. Yes. With your lamps and everything, all original radio. Yep. Does the clock work? Is there a clock? The clock yes. is here. Does the clock work? Yes. And the clock does work. Original mats. Original mats. As far as I know, right? uh -huh. everything seems to be original. And over here too is where we see the display too, right? Three hundred yep. three hundred horsepower. Yep. And these are lights too, more like fiber optics. With a, if the if the tail light is out, that pops up. Yes. Okay. If I think that's your turn, like your your, oh, your turn your turn, turn signal. Okay. This is so neat. Oh, is it a rough ride? People want to know. It is a rough ride. <laughs> it is really. Yes. It's it's made to be a sports car. It's uh -huh. not a luxury car, so it it's very stiff, and yeah, it's not the smoothest. As it's not like driving think. a C8 or something a current no. day in no. the Corvette. Not at all. Size-wise, too, people asking, I call people, some guys over six feet tall. There's room in there. I mean, it's roomy. Yeah. It's a roomy car. Yeah, it's not bad. Six five, maybe I have some trouble, but there's, there's definitely room inside it. <laughs> you take the T-tops off. Yeah, <laughs> that's why you got T-tops. You're getting shot underneath it, too. People want to see underneath it as well. 
There's no rust on this thing. No. It's in, it really is impeccable condition. Especially for the miles. I mean, it is a higher mileage car, so uh -huh. it was driven. So, but it was very well taken care of. So I'm sure it was a sunny day car. Yeah. And that kind of too, just the, the, the rear end of it too. I yes. mean, you could, you could take that Corvette, remove that off the car, and people still would instantly know what it is, oh, yeah. you know? For sure. So uh, we love looking at paperwork too. So Shane, you have, this is the, the title for the vehicle? Yeah, that was the original title I got from when I got it from Pennsylvania. So this is kind of how I broke down the VIN number to mm -hmm. check everything. And then how that breaks down is the one of the VIN number stands for it's a Chevrolet Motor Division. The nine of the VIN number mm -hmm. is a Corvette series. The four is a V8 engine. The 37 was a two-door sport coupe. The nine was a six, made in 69. 69 okay. The S was made, stand for it, made in St. Louis. All right. And then the VIN number, so that was out of the 700 and some thousand cars made, this was 7,134 off the line. Wow. It's the DNA of the car, it looks like it's, it's the it's DNA. so cool to look yeah. at it too. And then you were talking about some of the options too, because people were saying, why does right. it have the side pipes or the side mirror? You have the options broke down. First off, you had two, how much the car costs originally? Yeah, the base model was $4,781. To add the 390 horsepower, 427 uh -huh. was a $221 option. <laughs> to put that on, great right. option they put on. Exactly. But this, this book here breaks down some of the other options that they, that yeah. they offered. Kind of like what you mentioned about the little side louvers here. Yeah. Front fender louver trim, that was a $21 add. To add it on. Yeah, yeah, just to add it on. But back then, that might have been a week or two weeks worth yeah, of salary. Yeah, we're talking 1969. Yeah. yeah, that's a lot of money back it's in 1969. It's a lot of money. Is that like now? That's a, that's a cup of coffee at Starbucks. But back right. then, that's an expensive price. Yeah, so you could go through, like, I mean, all the different options here. You know, they had head restraints and power windows. That was a $63 option. But, but is this... Uh, yeah, everything's broken down here by cost and everything. And then what's over here? Do I notice this? Uh, so it's judging. This is judging sheet. So the NCRS does their judge on cars to tell you they get so many points mm -hmm. to find if it's a top flight or whatever it is. But so here's their judging book of standards, and then this is their their score sheets. So I got a sample of it to kind of do my own, just to kind of get where I think it should be. Yeah. Um, it does. It was judged by them. It's got a sticker on the window. Mm -hmm. I uh, do not have the results, but uh, one day I would like to get it to them and have it. The official official judge. So this is what they go through. They, they literally break everything down. Radiator. Everything. Everything. Radiator cap, the horns, alarms, head, wow. They go through and break everything down. Yes. That's neat. Yeah. That's neat to have all this stuff too. Yeah. And then the reference. I mean, I mean, I mean you can see, you know, Every little thing here, they said, well, this should look like this. If it's this, it should All look like that. So some of your comments, you know, like the staples, it will tell you in here if it had staples in the windows and uh -huh. it's get so many points. If it, if it had screws, then that's definitely an aftermarket. But it'll show you what the coil stamps will have been. All, I mean, this is, this is their judging thing, yeah. book. So you can see how detailed. Uh -huh. And like there is some of the Corvette collectors that probably had seen this car and they're, that's what they're trying they're to going judge off, off. Yeah. Well, let's take this book and go out and redo it again. <laughs> <laughs> Start to finish. Right. That's neat, man. That, this stuff is really neat to have. That's cool. If you want your car, shop, or collection featured on the show, then shoot us an email at carsshopsandcollections at gmail.com. That's carsshopsandcollections at gmail.com. And thanks for watching, and be sure and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes of Cars, Shops, and Collections. Yeah, yeah, yeah.